Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So I've got a different type of video today. I wanted to do an ink mixing video and I'm taking inspiration from people like, um, oh gosh, Nibs and Flourishes on Instagram as well as Jana Lyon on YouTube here and I'll link her profile down below. She did an ink mixing video with the Birmingham Pen Co inks and I saw her chart like this and I thought how well organized. I wanna try and do the same thing, but this time with the um, Pannonia and Amarillo inks that just came out. So we have here Amarillo Antiguo, which is the yellow. And then we have the Azul Frida, which is more like the cyan color. And then Rosa Mexicana, which is the pink. So what I've done here and what I filled out here is I've drawn this grid. So you have all three colors down the side here and it'll be one of each, one drop, I guess, or one part of the ratio for each of these three colors. And then at the top, one one to one ratio two to one ratio three to one ratio but again this is all just there will be these three rows that won't have anything and then you'll see the mixes in the other rows and i had to write down how many drops of each so i can then organize in my mind what the ratio is going to be for each one so what do i have in terms of things i need so i have my trusty kakamori brass nib in my river city pen co holder let's just take a second to appreciate how beautiful that is and then i have actually my nib holder uh, this is from fountain pendulum and i will link her profile in the description below so you have the beautiful carved wood here with enough holders for seven ink sample vials plus your pen i've got two jars of water one warm one cold and then my little plastic palette here which i bought at michael's actually it was really really cheap and pipettes can't go wrong with pipettes I'm going to do this as a voiceover because knowing me, if I don't fully focus on this, I will probably screw up the ratios. <laughs> so let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do with Amarillo Antiguo is actually place a drop in six of these wells. And I'm just like, how am I doing this? Just one drop in each. And then what I'm going to do is the first three will be one drop of the Azure Frida, two drops, and then three drops. And then I'm going to do the same with Rosa Mexicano, one drop, two drops, and three drops. And then I'm going to mix it with my um, River City Pen Co nib holder, which has my Kakamori Brass Dip Pen. And I love this nib. I love this nib holder. So here I am just mixing it, just really mixing it with my nib. And the first combination, that one-to-one -one with Azul Frida and Amarillo Antiguo is such a nice green. And then with the one-to-two, I don't see a huge variation, but then when I get to the one-to-three, so one part Amarillo Antiguo, three parts Azul Frida, it creates this kind of dark, darker teal or darker green. I really like that one. And then we have a one-to-one -one Amarillo Antiguo with Rosa Mexicano, and that one creates a little bit of like more of a muted orange, more ready orange. And then the one-to-two ratio, you get a little bit more of a pinky red, and then the one-to-three is a bit more of that pink. So the next base color we're working with is Azul Frida. So one drop of each in each of the wells before I add in one drop of Amarillo Antiguo, two drops and three drops, and then the same with Rosa Mexicano. This is the best way that I can get my brain to function is the one base color, one drop of the base color, and then one, two, three drops of the other colors. And then just mixing it with my brass dip pen and this green, this one-to-one -one ratio actually looks a bit different than the one-to-one -one ratio in the previous row. And then we have the one-to-two, and I really like that green. And then the one-to-three, this green is, it, it feels like it's not that different, but there is more yellow. You can see more of the yellow in that one-to-three ratio. And then we have purple. Oh, these are so pretty. The thing is, though, with such small drops, I haven't noticed a huge difference between the one to one, one to two ratio, and then the one to three ratio, there is a little bit of a brighter purple. That's pretty. And then lastly, the base color that we're using is Rosa Mexicano. So once again, one drop. Ooh, I put an extra drop there for seven instead of six and then one two three drops of Amarillo Antiguo and then one two three drops of Azul Frida for this row and 
again, for the, the diagonal rows in there, I just have the regular base color and then mixing with my brass dip pen. And then you have the one-to-one -one ratio, which looks more red. And, and well, I say more red, but it looks a little bit more orange in this. And then here you can see that the orange is coming out in the one to two ratio. And then the one to three ratio, you can definitely see an orange here. I really like that. And then we have the one to one ratio of Azul Frida with Rosa Mexicano. And just that purple is stunning, absolutely stunning. And then the one to two ratio, and you can see there it's turning more into a blurple. And then lastly, the one to three ratio is definitely more blurple. So there are all the inks all mixed. And I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like, I don't know, maybe I was expecting more color variation, or maybe I need to try a mix of all three of them and see what color I get and, and, you know, different levels of each. And I feel like for today's video, I need to keep it simple and keep it to two colors and then we'll see how I feel going forward. But in terms of like the first row, when Amarillo or Amarillo Antiguo is the, I guess, base color, and then we're just adding Azul Frida and Rosa Americano, I actually really like the green and the variation in the green. This looks more teal because there is more of that Azul Frida in there. And then in terms of the Rosa, Americano. I love how this, like this is the base color of Rosa Mexicano or Rosa Amer. Oh, I wrote Mexicano, but it's a, yeah, it's a Mexicano. And then adding the Amarillo or Amarillo Antiguo, so different from the base color. And I actually really like this one to three ratio of the Amarillo Antiguo and the Rosa Mexicano. So that one might be one of my favorites, but I also actually like all shades of these green. And then we move down to Azul Frida as the base color. And then when we're adding different levels of the Amarillo Antiguo, that green is gorgeous. And then here with the one to two ratio, you can see that there are some darker bits that kind of look like that as well. But then this one is definitely more teal because it is that one to one ratio. But funny enough, this, looks different to this, even though they're both the one-to-one -one ratio. Funny how that ends up working, but I really like, I just like the green. I love green in general. And then we have Rosa Mexicano with Azul Frida and just that range in purple. It feels very like one-to-one -one and one-to-two feel very the same. Maybe like that's tiny bit lighter, but then the one-to-three ratio, you can really see that there it, it is becoming a brighter purple. I really, really like that. And then lastly, with Rosa Mexicano as the base color and then mixing in Amarillo Antiguo and Azul Frida, you can see like just amazing. Look at that, the one-to-one -one ratio and the one-to-one -one ratio here. This looks more red and this looks more orange. And then the one-to-two ratio, it's getting a bit more orange. And then here, the one-to-three ratio, definitely a lighter orange. And then when we come to Azul Frida, you have the one-to-one -one with the one-to-one -one here, very similar. And then the one-to-two, it's more blurple that color and then one to three you can't even really see that the rosa mexicano was in there but it is different from the base color of azul frida so it is like a really really dark blurple that color so this has been really interesting it's been i feel like this is a very simplified ink mixing there are definitely way more combinations that you can do with different um i guess dimensions but different variations on the amounts and whether you're mixing all three and how many of each three i don't know if my brain can handle that math today so we're just sticking to you know the the mixing of the two but if i ever decide that i want to do that i think that would be a really really interesting video okay so after the initial experimentation i decided to take what was left over in my palette here and just try out a couple of different mixes and actually these combinations are super super cool i feel like you'll get more uh differentiation when you have greater differences in ratio but the first one i really wanted to try was to see if combining all three one to one to one what it would produce and it's kind of this gray purple and then you get some chromo shading in there very very cool and then i decided why not try to see what that combination would be like but 
add a whole bunch of that Rosa Mexicano. So it's one part Azul Frida, five parts Rosa Mexicano, and then one part Amido, Amarillo Antiguo. And it's this really cool kind of burgundy, it's not a dusty pink, but like darker pink color. And I really like that. The motivation for that was though, is that I wanted to try and see how, what kind of a different purple I would get. And this looks more like, look at the difference between the one to three ratio there and then the one to five ratio here. It's definitely leaning more towards the magenta. And then just adding that one drop of Amarillo Antiguo and you get that color. How, how cool. Then the next one I wanted to try was like, how light of a green could I get by adding more of the Amarillo Antiguo? And look at that. That is such a pretty green, which I feel like would match perfectly with, uh, yes, my Estabrook SD Rainforest. That is very, very cool. And then I decided with that, why not try and add a drop of the Rosa Mexicano and see what we would get. And you get this really cool brown, like on camera, it looks more orange, but in person, it reminds me of Pilot of Roshizuku Inaho. What a great combination. And then lastly, I think, or did I mention this one already? Yeah, so basically this came about because I wanted to try what kind of orange I would get with adding more of that Amarillo Antiguo to Rosa Mexicano, and you get such a punchy bright orange. I really, really like that. And then adding that Azul Frida makes that really cool shade of brown. So I feel like I got way better <laughs> variations and cooler colors by, hold on, let me just organize this. Here we go. So this row is just two colors and then this row is three colors. But look at the variations you can get by using these three different inks. This was re actually really fun. Once I started playing around with these, and making note of the different colors of these and the different ratios. This was more fun. I'm kind of sad I only have samples, but I don't need to, do I need to buy, I don't need to buy bottles. I don't need to buy bottles, but mixing ink has been so, so fun. All right, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know which one is your favorite combination and if you would ever try anything like this. And once again, just as a you know side note, just be careful when you are mixing inks, making sure that you aren't putting these in really, really expensive pens for fear of some of the properties creating weird globules is, is what I've seen happen in the past with some people. But these inks in particular are actually made to be mixed. So I think you're pretty safe with these. Thanks again for watching and have yourselves a great day.